Well, certainly it's, it's a fundamental reorganization of relationships because clearly what you've got is relation, relationships face to face. Uh, it's not that they don't matter, they matter crucially, but so do the kind of, um, you know, the online relationships. And the fact that we spend so much of our time constantly checking email, posting status updates, social media, so on and so forth. It means that people are doing it, and they're doing it for a reason, because it matters. They enjoy communication with others at a distance, both for personal reasons, but also for professional reasons. So it's certainly a brave new world, and uh, I don't think it's as simple as saying that it's either simply good or bad. It seems to me, again, that it's a mixture of new opportunities, but with those opportunities also come pressures and burdens. The status anxiety was originally, uh, uh, it's been coined in sociology and it's been used more recently by some philosophers. And it's really in an economy that's driven increasingly in and through the digital, um, it, people are seeking to be able to demonstrate forms of difference, of uh, economic, cultural, intellectual, symbolic differences. Uh, and these are things that it's not simply, you know, money has always been the sort of key signifier of social differences, but we're in a world where differences can be recognized now in different kinds of ways. Um, but also the world of uh, online life, life on the screen, can present um, uh, anxieties, uh, particularly in terms of life on the screen is a kind of never-ending set of obligations and tasks to keep up to speed and uh, that can sort of lead to psychic burnout. I think a lot of people now worry about the shape of their lives and whether they're actually deriving emotional uh, pleasure and benefit out of much of what online life requires from them.